doing? We out here, chilling on the spot. What up? What up? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Brothers Breaking Bread Podcast in the house. Hey, okay, we'll have a little pop up. Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's not just talk about it. This is a beautiful thing, man. It's all this blackness, and we all just getting together. We playing dominoes, we eating, we drinking. And you know, food is always just the, the extra, man. They deprive these people of their basic human rights. You know, and we call ourselves Americans. We're supposed to be above all this. They'll fake the crisis. They'll make it seem way out of proportion. We brothers, we breaking bread. How y'all doing? We out here chilling in the spot. What up? Trying to hold it all together, man. Life is moving fast right now. Man, so it's good to have everybody come through. I love that, man. I love it a lot. More than I could, I could, I could, I could say to you guys. So, here we are for uh, Lovecraft Country. Let's move into that. Um, oh. I think here we are. We on the last three episodes we saved, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So, right. that would be uh, Scaredy Cat. Jigga Boo Boo. Jigga Boo Boo. Jigga Boo Boo. Jigga Boo What is this? Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? This is uh, the name of the people who are covering it. My bad. So, full, full circle, uh, Jigga Boo Boo. And then what was the ninth one? Um, it was the one where he went back to Tulsa. Right. Yeah, scary. Oh, uh, no. Um, I'm trying to figure out the name of it. I got it here. Uh, Rewind, Wait. 1921. Rewind, yeah, that's it. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So, Rewind, Bobo, right. Rewind, 1921, and then Full Circle uh, were the three that we were going to discuss. And, you know, we said before when we talked about this, we really don't do a blow by blow and if you listen you know we kind of go all over the place so just enjoy so i'm, I'm, I'm sure everyone here i don't know i don't know i i, I like yeah i overall love 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 the the whole series uh definitely i've, I've read in the news is going to be a season two so looking forward to that but coronavirus we'll see how that how that plays out but yeah how'd y'all feel about everything overall i loved it man i loved it first of all the um Shout out to the writer. Um, she did a fantastic job uh, with incorporating, you know, fantasy with actual history. Well, it was a, it was a team of writers. It wasn't just one writer, bro. But I, well, she was the leader. Well, I don't know. If she was a leader. Oh, I feel maybe. I think yeah. I think the leader of the team was a woman. But uh, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Misha, <laughs> Misha, Misha, Misha Green yep. was the exec, executive producer uh-huh. overall the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much an all woman team of uh, writers. There you I go. Think, yeah. Okay, so them, shout out to them, man. They did a fantastic job with the show. Indeed. Because uh, to incorporate history with fantasy, man, that was I, I thought that was awesome the way they did it, you know. And then to be backed by um, um, can't think of his name now. Jordan, uh, Jordan, Jordan Peele. Peele. Jordan Peele mm-hmm. and JJ. But uh, Jordan Peele, you know, I, I um, you know, I kind of, that's what made that that really made me enjoy that show even more, you know. Well, good. Anybody else? You yeah. know. Yeah, man. I mean, it was it's a really it's a really dope show. I, I mean, I had never seen nothing like it, you know, before. Um, very, you know, super creative, like just like uh, Tim was saying, you know, mixing in the fantasy, the sci-fi. Uh, shit with, you know, real historical, um, our periods of his of, of uh, history, right, and historical personages, people. Uh, you know, when we discussed it the last time, and uh, <laughs> Michaela was telling us about the uh, uh, the lady that I forget her name that rode the bike, so, uh, yeah. or the motorcycle. My bad, the motorcycle. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? So like, oh. from talking, you know, uh, through our little discussions. Um, you know, helped me pick up even more. It was even more layered than I were than I realized. You know, when mm-hmm. I was watching it. So, Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. you know, kudos to them, man. My hats off. Yeah, it, and just just pick back off everybody else. They did a brilliant job weaving everything together, like looking at history, mm-hmm. racism, sci-fi, fantasy, 
making it all blend together to where you get a like, fresh take on how things are down, but also to tell the story in a new, in a unique way that a lot of people either have not been, have not seen before on TV, mm-hmm. or not used to being told the story in that kind of manner. Especially right. with, mm-hmm. I think with, with black people, I think we, we've seen similar yeah. things. They take white history and sci-fi and all kind of shit like that. But to have something be so just driven by black people, our history and our story, and you mix, mix mix in some warlocks and witches. I mean, that's that's, mm-hmm. that, that's some new shit, and I loved it. And and not to be, and, and it wasn't that surface level. I have I have Dream King kind of shit either. Mm-mm. Right. Was, no, no, no. Also, this is the you know going back to the first episode. This is the stuff that you learned outside the school, outside the classroom from right. talking to people like, yo, why they paint the White House white? Or, you know, you listen to James Baldwin talking about what is reality against uh, David Prinkley. Right. And it, mm-hmm. that, applying that kind of question to something like sci-fi and fantasy. Yes. Right. Yes. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? No? Well, okay. I thoroughly enjoyed the series. I, um... For many reasons that, you know, y'all named, but one of them being that, you know, I actually anticipated watching the show and the, a lot of the things that happen, a lot of us can already uh, attest to, like, you know, love and family and struggle and mm-hmm. being black and black history. So I like the depiction of how they portray blacks in this particular uh uh, series like it wasn't negative but it was just like you know us trying to get answers about our own history and going about it a, a completely different way Correct. Um, so hopefully there is a season two because uh, there's a lot more there are a lot more questions and answers because of the finale correct correct yeah yeah and, and the way they did the characters and how how, how, how many different dimensions the characters all had mm-hmm. to it you know, I was telling somebody earlier, like, you just can't casually watch this. You got to, like, pay attention. Oh, process yeah. it, And then watch it over again just to, just in case there's something that you missed. Right. Or just right. see where things were going. It's like, oh, that's why that happened. Well, I see now. Da, 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 da. And I love it because it's like, well, it, go, go ahead, McKay. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Roger. One of the other things that I liked about the series was that they gave every person who was a cast member, like, uh, the potential to be the the uh, protagonist on the show. Correct. So yeah. Diana had her stunts. Uh, Tick right. had his. Um, Letty had hers. Montrose had his. In the beginning, the middle, and the end. So everybody had their chance to shine in this series. Yeah. Even even Lil D. Even Lil even D. D. Exactly. Yeah. Well, D came during the end too. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, well, yeah, and, and like Gator was saying real quick, just like I, I've only and I know uh, from our previous discussions, I know uh, at least Joe, he said that he has seen, uh, I think, most of the episodes more than once. So, like, that's what I'm looking forward to, because I only seen every episode one time. But I'm one of them okay. people I like to be. I like to just be able to binge it and watch it, you know, straight through in a mm-hmm. day or two. So I ain't going to do it right away, but probably like in, a, in about another month or so, another few weeks. I'm going to just sit back and, um, like, take a weekend or whatever and just go through it, you know, yep. and not have that gap, you know what I'm saying? Because I forget that certain shit happened, and, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to doing that, being able yeah. to um, watch it like that. Yeah, because the foreshadowing on the show is even – that, that's oh, another yeah. layer to what it is. Like, oh, well, I, I totally – like, it would be something that comes out later on the show, and you're like, I totally forgot about that. Right. Like, and, and, like, with this last so. Where they're all singing in the car. Yep. And yeah. we didn't know the plot twist, but if you go to the first episode, it was right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. What are you talking about now? Hold on. Oh, damn. Wait a minute, because I missed something. Go ahead. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Say so, it. In the first, so remember in the first episode, Ruby and Letty was having a conversation. We got together, and they're like, let's sing a song. Yep. And Ruby was like, I'm not singing that because that's too happy. Yep. And then in the last episode, they're all in the car together. And he reluctantly they're sings it. Yep. And Ruby yeah. sings it. Yep. Mm. Yep. And then we mm-hmm. find out that's not actually Ruby. Right. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Ruby was a singer. Hold up. But she she's a singer, but she didn't like singing those happy songs. She liked that that right. that blues shit. Right. Right. And she said okay. she's not singing that song. And then we see Christina. Dressed up as Ruby, mm-hmm. singing that song. 
Yeah. So that right. Tell. Yeah. That should have been the yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then also, so, I mean, it, but, but then they kind of came heavy-handed with the tail when um, uh, Letty asked her that question, and she answered it the wrong way, and she was like, "Oh, bitch, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't my sister." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all that. Like, you know how niggas be. Ooh, 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 that, ain't, that ain't hurt. That ain't hurt. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I was. That's, that's yeah, exactly how I I'm was. Screaming like, loud, oh, I'm screaming loud. I'm screaming loud in the room by myself. That ain't hurt. That's fucking Christina. One of the other important factors of this series was that I'm not like a horror like person. I can't watch like. I usually don't watch, like, I can't tell you what happens in Candyman because I don't watch anything like that. Like, so you, a you, lot of so these, you probably don't watch Game of Thrones. A lot then, of these, huh? I'm sorry? You probably don't watch Game of Thrones, nigga. There's a lot of, a lot of murder. <laughs> no, I never watched that. And I didn't realize it had any of that in it, but I just heard a lot about it. And I didn't like, like, that's not my type of uh, show anyhow. But the other thing that I noticed was that, like, if you were interested in history, like by itself, even if you didn't like like uh, people fighting or the blood and all this other stuff, that you would be interested in just watching the show, listening to the music, and getting the history of the show. So that's what made me continue to watch. Like it was hard to watch like the uh, topsy turvy twins and uh, oh, oh, them two devils. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Bobsy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Damn. And, and so there were parts of the show where it was like, I'm not watching the night because last night I couldn't sleep. Well, last week I didn't sleep, you know. So <laughs> even if I'm just like a baby. So even if, well, I just hey, I just I'm never I'm, I'm I just don't watch uh, things like that, right? Because mostly because I live alone, but like, I don't want to like watch the shit with all the lights on and bells and whistles on because <laughs> I can't sleep. <laughs> But anyway, hey, them two man, little I, girls, man, I ain't gonna lie, man, them two little girls creep me out, man. Yeah, man. When me they too. when they me came too. on the screen, my oh. my skin began to crawl. The hair on my like, arms stood up. Yep. Hey, happy Halloween is damn near canceled because you know Cass is gonna try to dress up like them. Oh, oh hell yeah, yeah. Yep. yep. But you know what's gonna exactly. happen? Yep. You know so, they can't do the so back bend like them no. now. No, they can't. No, they, they can't dance they, like them. They gonna start footworking. Mm-hmm. Well, the sad thing is gonna be it's gonna be two gonna white be... gymnasts in blackface that are gonna do it. It's gonna just fuck up Halloween like they always do. Anyway, <laughs> well, you know, we were talking about we were talking about uh, music, and I wanted to know if anybody paid any attention to how the music would go from the uh, period it was trying to portray, mm-hmm. right. uh, mixed right. with the modern music today. Like it went from. Um, it went from Billie Holiday to Cardi mm-hmm. B yep. to right. um, the to Cool Summer, mm-hmm. yeah, to like mm-hmm. the minstrel show music. It kept like it played it on like all of it was black culture, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most of it so, was black culture, I will say, because uh, Banana Rama, uh, Cool yeah. Summer wasn't, but like you know, most of it was uh, black culture. Yep, yep, yep. Love it. And, and, yeah, and that was another good. That was another good thing about the show was that they would put the music in. And you might think, oh, this is a period piece. They're just only going to stick to the period music. Right. Mm-hmm. right. But the epi- the second episode where they opened up, where they're playing the thing from the Jeffsons. Yep. Yeah. It just fits so perfectly, though. Yeah, my man, but it did. My man, my yeah. man, George, well, well, my man one, George is like, happy. The one in... <laughs> so episode uh, number eight, like I thought we were going to go in order. So if we are, so episode number eight uh, began off with Banana Rama Cruel Summer, summer. And this yep. was the summer yeah. that Emmett Till had their funeral, who had his funeral. Mm-hmm. Had his Correct. funeral. His uh, family had his funeral. And so then it bounces to uh, Screaming Jay Hawks, I Put a Spell on You, which was actually yeah. redone by Alicia Smith in 2015. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then it bounces to Billie Holiday. So they kind of play on the uh, culture of music, but it's also letting you know, like, to watch this particular like um, mm-hmm. part of the show more intensely than the one before. Yes. Yeah, I gotta agree with you on that one because um, it, each one of the songs that came on, like you said, "Cruel Summer," that was a cruel period of time when um, the the slaying of, uh, of Emmett Till. Uh, Emmett Till. Emmett Till. Bobo. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a cru- that was one of the cruelest summers uh, in Black history. 
Yeah, and, mm-hmm. and and before I forget though, like you guys were already talking about like, the history and everything, just like mm-hmm. the little the little things like when we talked about like earlier on when we were like uh, covering the earlier episodes, just using Emmett Till's nickname because at first we were like, no, no, that wasn't Emmett Till. They were, right, they were yeah. calling him Bobo, and then we exactly. had to, we had to look it up. Right. Oh, that was his yeah, nickname. They, so yeah. they used Emmett Till and they used uh, Gil Scott Heron. Yeah, Gil yeah. Scott Heron was right, it. right. Mm-hmm. But, but but we were like, because I but, remember you guys were on the show, and we were like, well, they, they kept, well, I think Gator, you were on the show for that one we covered. And they were like, they kept calling him Bobo or something. And we were like, uh, I don't know, if that wasn't Emmett Till. Then we look it up, and it's like, but those little things there, I don't think you get those when you have a room full of white writers. You just get like right. you get the heavy hand of Emmett Till, but we get all these little subtle, these little subtle things that right. even we yeah. don't know and make us go back and research our own history. It's, like a, it's a subtlety shit. and it's a deep dive. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. whatever. Also, little pieces. I'm sorry, uh, Gator. Go ahead. I was gonna say because the subtlety is like you might not know about uh, old girl on a motorcycle. You just see oh, black woman on a motor- motorcycle driving across country. But there's a history to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. Yeah, so right. one of so one of the other things uh, from uh, Jigga Bobo that I noticed was the fact that not only did Emmett Till die this particular weekend and then Diana gets the curse put on her, mm-hmm. but as soon as she does, did anybody notice that uh, when Letty was leaving the house in episode eight, where she was looking for I want to say Tick and she didn't know where he was and. She's leaving the house, and Diana walks up, and Diana can see the uh, topsy-turvy dolls, well, twins. Uh, and then she goes, well, we're being, like, we've been looking for you. And then uh, Diana goes, do you see them behind you? And then she goes, well, I can't breathe. And then oh, yeah, you right. go to the house and get some water. And so to me, you know, it, it was a result of a curse, but at the same time, Maybe they're trying to mix in the fact that, you know, we couldn't breathe during the uh, period of Emmett Till and we can't breathe now in 2020. That was 1955. They had the funeral. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yep. So that was kind of mixing what was going on then to like where they were marching and protesting and having a dream and, you know, getting together and trying to make things like, you know, click like for us then. And we're still doing the same thing now. Yep. Right. And it was them laws that cursed D. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you notice in like the last episode, you see the other fam, the black family moving in across the street? Yeah, I yeah, I noticed yeah. that. Yeah, they they moved that in. That I thought that was like um, white flight. That's was the beginning yeah. of that's white exactly. Flight. What it, was. Mm-hmm. it was at oh. it was what they call the tipping point. You know, one family it's moves it. in, mm-hmm. and then one family decides to move out. Another family moves in. It's like another white family that like, well, you know what? That's it. I got to go too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. So lovely, lovely. Did did um Good. did anybody else notice that when D was approached with the dolls that no matter what she did she couldn't kill him? And if so, do you like like what was your impression of that? It was it, my impression was that the curse prevented her from saying what was actually bothering her. Mm-hmm. And in the sense that a lot of people, when they have trauma, figuratively speaking, mm-hmm. with deep mm-hmm. trauma that her friend was murdered. Right. Mm-hmm. So okay. It's cursed, and she can't tell what what what's, what the curse is, figuratively what what is bothering her. Correct. And mm-hmm. what we try to do is sometimes we just can't voice what is upsetting us. And okay. Dee mm-hmm. illustrated that with the curse that was placed on her. It's like I can't. She couldn't. She couldn't say what was going on because uh, something was preventing her from doing that. Okay. And then- so the way the way that I looked at that, well, that's one way to look at it, and that's also like I made notes about the show because there's so much to like uh, that. digest mm. that I couldn't remember. So mm-hmm. the way that I looked at the twins was that, well, first of all, they were dancing. They were doing the dances of a menstrual show. Um, yeah. That's number one. Yes. So number two was is that. I don't know how y'all feel about particular menstrual shows, but I'm sure that I can guess. But that's a particular history of black history that black people don't recognize because it's negative. Yeah. So, but yeah. but it doesn't mean that just because you just like it, you can unsee it. That it doesn't mean that it didn't happen. You know what I mean? Right. So, the menstrual shows were a form of entertainment to white America mm-hmm. because it played on 
the uh, the negative parts of black people, like our big lips, our nappy hair, and our wild ways of dancing. So, yeah, yeah, so it mocked black history in a sense. So in my opinion, it, it was almost like um, the uh, curse also of being black in America is like, if it ain't one thing, it's something else. You yeah, know, right. so she's not only dealing with the uh, trauma of losing her her closest uh, friend, but she's also trying to tackle her own uh, demons. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh-huh. And keep in mind, her mom, somebody put on her. Yeah, and, and she didn't know where her mom was at the, right. either. And, and exactly. And also, so so it's us okay. having to hurriedly deal with a grief from you know mm-hmm. today. You got to hurry up and deal with this today because tomorrow you don't. You don't know what's next because right. it could be you dying or your mother dying or another black man dying. So it's like having to hurriedly grieve today so that you can live for tomorrow and figure out what's going to happen then. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a question to put uh, to put out there. Um, what do y'all think about uh, when uh, Hippolyte? I can't pronounce her name. Hippolyte. 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 Okay, uh, when she left D <laughs> alone, uh, because you know later on we. Um, she comes and confronts her mother and, and, you know, you shouldn't have left me alone. I mean, you know, my best friend just died and I was alone. So what did y'all think about that? Because she left her really just to go find herself. Right. To, yeah. to, to, um, to find, you know, what she has been missing in her life. You know, so that she can bring it home to her daughter. I thought to bring it home to her daughter. So what are y'all takes on that? My take is that was the necessary outcome of being selfish. And that Hippolyta was being selfish, not in a negative sense. She was doing it Mm -hmm. to improve herself, to find herself, so that she, in the end, she could be that role model for Pete now that George was gone. Right, okay. Right. But Hippolyta didn't know what was going on that D that D was gonna need her at that time. Right. And you saw right. that was like Hippolyta was like, I'm sorry you were by yourself. I was doing this, but I am here now and we're gonna get this through this together. <laughs> I'm and we're gonna be just as good, if not better, than what we were before. The only yeah. reason why I'm laughing well, is also, because it's, go it's ahead, also the fact. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Roger. Go ahead. No, I, keep stuff. no, no. I said the only reason why I'm laughing is because like when when uh, Hippolyta was trying to explain to D why she was gone, all I could think about was Martin Lawrence and life rolling over time. About man, don't nobody want to hear that shit. <laughs> 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 like where you my- been? <laughs> my arm is fucked up, Mama. Where you been? But but even more like but like to add on goddamn not, not the chicken wing to add on to what Gator said though like we, we learned that Hippolyta had given up so much of herself for her family you see this 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 physical manifestation of her daughter losing something so that Hippolyta could go find herself so it's kind of like I, I don't know the sins of the father type shit I don't know but like yeah I mean. Uh, it made me think about that when we get to episode ten. Even though D comes back and the curse is lifted, her arm is still fucked up. You know, so right. she had, she gave yeah. she, she, and, she lost and some of herself. That was pretty much my take as well. It's like just because you're a parent, you don't you are an individual at the end of the day. And so Hippolyta was a was a mother, a, a wife, you know, a friend, and she also helped with the God here and there. She made for sure that. George got to where he was going, had mm-hmm. the had the uh, food he needed and everything. And so you don't just because you're a parent and you're a wife and you and you wear these multiple hats of identities, mm-hmm. you are your own individual. And so she yeah, had to still, find yeah. herself to right. figure out who she was again. And that's very important if you're going to continue on the journey of being somebody's everything, like your child or you know playing the part as a wife. Right. There has to be a point where you hit the reset button and say, "Well, who the hell am I? And where am I going? What am I doing?" Well, you can't you can't so give did, you can't give somebody something that you don't have yourself. So right. you can't pour she had from to know, an empty she had to, cup. She had exactly. to go and know herself. You know what I'm saying? In order right. to keep you deep. can't I'm, you I'm, can't I'm, pour from an empty cup. But but the, the the same time is that when she did come back, she uh, she gave like this lecture about. Um, how you're mad right now, but then you're going to look back in time and feel like, you know, I wasn't mad about anything, or you're going to realize exactly 
what pissed you off. And it's not going to matter because time is going to heal that. You don't believe that now because you're upset right now. Correct. But a Hippolyta crawl so D could walk. Now, I'll say this about about Hippolyta. In that Hippolyta wasn't necessarily empty. Because there are a couple scenes, Mm -hmm. early episodes, like like episode three or episode episode four, where she got a when she got her hands on that uh, on those lords of worry, she's on the phone talking to her dad, and they're talking about some high level astronomy stuff. Right. Trying to figure out what this what this what the what this mechanism is, and if mm-hmm. if I was able to do the calculations on some uh, hidden figure stuff. Right. So mm-hmm. You right. I already knew right then. Like Hippolyta wasn't necessarily empty. She was just being held back and not really exercising her potential till she went into that uh, into that portal. The multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Hey. Okay. My my take. Well, there was also an episode where uh, when uh, George was alive, he was going to take this last journey, and she she pretty much uh, put herself on the chopping block to ask him to go with him. And he was like, no, it's too dangerous. It's too this. And she's like, you know, well, in a sense, it's like, well, how long can I play the backdrop of this play? Right. You know, that when I know that, that I'm very capable to do what you're doing and possibly better. So she, there was an urge to do what her husband was doing, but she was always kind of... Um, Cut too back. short, like you know, he didn't give her the opportunity to actually do that. So it's not, yeah. not <laughs> just necessarily <laughs> pouring from an empty cup, but but wanting to yeah. actually venture out and do something different. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She kind of put together a, a travel guide of a different kind, you know, a travel guide for yeah. her own self, for her own being. But there was a want to actually do more, like with herself, other than be a, a mother at home and you know, a wife and all of that, because she asked him. Uh, in this particular episode where he took the last uh, journey, if she could go, mm-hmm. and then he's telling her how dangerous it is and that there are people on the trail that, you know, um, that she did need to encounter and that he had it and all this. And so there was a one in her to want to do more than what she was doing. Correct. Yeah, Correct. yeah exactly. It, it, before we go to the next episode, I guess, we, I mean, I'm not tripping, but the, the little Jigaboo dolls, those were the two girls that came out the ice cream shop, right? Yeah, no. Those were the no. no those were the two no, no. who came out the Uncle Tom uh, cabin book. Uncle Tom's cabin book. Right. I mean, they were yeah. But if you notice, but they were the, the, it was a dark skin and light skin girl that came out the ice cream shop, correct? And then no, they weren't. They weren't. Okay, so if you notice, that's what I was thinking too, because there was these two little girls that oh, were told to shut up. It was, it was yeah, she told them to shut up, and, and, they, yeah, were, and they were and laughing. They at her. looked. Yeah, because they were laughing and coming out of the uh, arcade, laughing and everything. What are you saying, Gabby? Uh, yeah, it was, it was three of them. It was three girls. I thought I saw two. My bad. I thought I saw two. Well, well I saw that, but I did a little research on uh, Topsy Turvy dolls, and a Topsy Turvy doll used to have, um, there used to be a black side and a white side with the same Correct. dress on. Correct. So Correct. that's why I thought that they were kind of playing on the notion of it being. Um, two dolls of the same kind, but right. a different race, well, like the topsy turvy dog used to be. Right, right. No, yeah, no. Because I, I just remember it was like a light skin. I mean, I didn't see a third one. I saw it was a darker skin girl, a light skin girl. And I get that the yeah. character right. came from Uncle Tom Cabin book, but I thought there was kind of like this light skin because they were they were two kind of different shades. The the little the little bobo. So it, it's not important. But I was just making sure I wasn't tripping. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. But anyway, but no, no, no. That, I mean, that was a, uh, yeah. I mean, that was a. I mean, all episodes, all the episodes were great. That was a great episode. So then we can kind of uh, let's move forward. Uh, episode nine, rewind, nineteen twenty one. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we find very out, good episode actually. It, oh man, that hurt. And definitely this yeah, episode did. where like yes, it did. like like literally out loud like what the like what the fuck. Like they went to some back, some Back to the Future type shit. Marty McFly, yeah, <laughs> and Doctor <laughs> Stuff was on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it was, it was, a, it was, was that, it was the answer to that question. Well, if black folks could travel through time, where would they want to go? No, it's where do you not want? Where to you go? not want to go? Yeah. Hey, that's, that's that old Paul. That's that, that's that Paul Mooney shit. We can only go so far back. 
right, right. And that's that's the part that they didn't even want to go. Yeah. So in in this, uh, you find them having to uh, go back to where. Uh, Go back to this portal to go back in time, and Hippolyta has now, you know, gained the power to kind of control it a little bit. Now she's a blue Smurf. That's all good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with the hair, though, bro. I saw. I need to know yeah. why, why is the hair blue. Explain it, somebody. It, it, she turned it into like one of these comic book characters. Yeah, that's true. You're right. You're right. That's, yeah. that's, and, that's, and, 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 and that's and that's and that's another thing that they could uh, touch on on season two. All, all of these comic books was predicting the future in the future episodes. Exactly. Yes. So these uh-huh. magic in a sense. Yes. Yeah. 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 But but uh, not yeah. only returning to to uh, 1921, but the um, the uh, Tulsa race massacre of 1921. Yeah. Yes. Right. Um, so there, the the writers are giving you a larger view of what occurred in Tulsa in like you know history, but <laughs> They're also giving you what, like, they rewind. They give you kind of a sense of what the families were going through because a lot of um, the house that Letty was in was was um, white guys in the truck had set it on fire. Uh huh. Yeah. So, but the family so I still guess inside. the importance of yeah, with the family inside, and so a lot of people aren't like you know privy to what happened in Tulsa, and so they kind of touched on that yet again. So it must have been kind of um, and I, I like very that. important. I like they did, they did the like the, the like that the build up because like you know I don't know if you guys watch Watchmen where we just got like yeah got, they did. Op- I did open see up, that you open up to the Tulsa riots and the bombing mm-hmm. not riots my bad massacre and the bombings mm-hmm. and all the things like that with this you yeah. kinda, you see that slow like the slow simmering that build up the pot's kind of boiling white people are mm-hmm. mad that these successful black folks are, are living their best life kind of shit and like. <laughs> It's, that's for me. That's the first time I, I've, I've seen it portrayed where it's like you know trouble is coming, but you're still trying to. Li- you, you see, they're getting ready to go to a prom or whatever the fuck. You're still trying to live your day to day yeah. life and so celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, that, 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 I mean that, that was beautiful. I mean, sad yeah, but beautiful. Life, life is going on. Yeah. And it's about to get interrupted in a major way. Yeah. A major fucking way. And let's not forget that the entire premise of the show is to. To take back our black history, what Correct. what is ours? Correct. So right. we're trying to shape it in a way that you know, a way that we want it to be remembered, you know. And so they uh, not only go back and get the book, but they now gain control of this uh, of these magic powers that they have, and nobody else can have it because of the, because now they own the book. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And and then I also like how they the I mean I mean it's in our face the whole. The whole season, but it's so brutally in our face. This episode here, where we see the generational trauma that Mon- that is that is mm-hmm. held down to Montrose. Mm-hmm. That you see how he br- yeah. passes exactly. on the tape. Oh yeah. So oh, how, uh, how not how, being able to be up front. Not to be able to, yeah. to be who he yeah, is, and exactly. then also to have a father who who knows that you that you're you, that you're homosexual or gay, and if I just beat you enough, you won't be gay. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna beat it out of you. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. And, 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 and that's, that's not and, how it and, works. No. And then to take it a step further, your first crush yeah. is shot right in front. Yeah, we, yeah. Right. we were talking about that yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, your the probably his first yeah, crush, love, male that he's yeah, yeah. openly like. Here, this is who I am. To you see his fucking right. brains get blown out in front of you, bro. Right. So, so essentially, so essentially, you're seeing the uh, prototype of who you were, yeah. and now you're the finished uh, product. So they're they're like across the street from who they used to be. Well, Montrose is anyway. Mm-hmm. He's across right. the street, like looking at who he used to be, and now this is who he's become. And now he he even grew to learn to suppress his urges and being a a black a gay man in America. Correct. So now even. He had to suppress that from his own son. Right. Now that Tick knows, right. he understands now why he right. is the way that he is. And so you kind of see the metamorphosis of of Montrose all throughout the series. Yeah, and, yeah. and then like, and then and, 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 it's, and it's changing in to Tick too, because Tick now has that. Right. Yeah. Now, right. This exactly. is what I and, and then, mm-hmm. like, and then I thought that was even more important actually. Right. That Montrose kind of going back and rediscovering. Himself was Tick being able to 
you know, really get to know his father for the first time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but if you even like even if you go back now and you think about the episode where they went underground and they were looking for I can't remember the guy's name, but they brought back this um this girl with them. Oh, when they went to the the house. Oh yeah, yeah, when they went to the house and Montrose kills her. And so my take on that is just um, Montrose has lived a life of self sabotage where yeah. it's like you know we know we need to find the answers but we don't want to go about it like this because it may hurt us it may harm us it may even kill us so right. it, her, name the path of just her name was Yahima. Yahima? her name was Yahima, Yahima uh, whatever her name mm-hmm. was yeah, yeah, yeah. Yahima yeah okay uh, I, I wouldn't say it was self sabotage it was more so the idea from what he of uh, protecting his loved ones that he learned from right. his father, yeah, from right. that faithful night to, to th- making sure nothing happens to Tick. Yeah. It's the idea of we're going to keep some family secrets mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. whatever affected us doesn't affect our future generations. Correct. So when you go back, so in that Rewind episode, Letty asked uh, the grandmother, what do you know about the book of names? And the grandmother says, the only book I know is the good book. The good testament, mm-hmm. the old That's testament. It. The old testament. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. But then she's like, I have the book. I was told never to, to keep it hidden and never to use it. Yep. Right. And he and he just draw a straight line from that. Omitting certain things, certain facts that have happened to us in a way to protect our future the future generations so that evil does not come back to visit them. However, that evil can still come, but in a certain form. Yeah. And and, and, mm-hmm. and to me, I think, as as, as, in, as intelligent as everybody is on the show, even Montrose, is, even his most drunken moments, as intelligent as he is, Montrose is a hammer, and he he views all problems as a nail. And, and, he, learned, <laughs> and he learned a lot of that from his father, just heavy-handed, I'm not going to mm-hmm. tell you. I'll beat it out of you. I don't. I, yeah. it, it even like it, like we talked about on the show. Even when uh, confronted with leaving his own home with his his, I mean, quote unquote, I don't know if his lover, but the guy he had been with. You know, his thing is, yeah. I'm gonna go back to the old school, take my shirt off, nigga. I'm still your daddy. You know what right. I'm saying? So do as I just, say, and yeah. So he's not a, as I do. Yeah, he's a hammer, and everything is a nail to him. And that, and and you kind of, but he he kind of slowly grows from that. But in the show, it's very heavy heavy handed on him as far as just like that's how he solves the problems. I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just gonna hide it. Or I'm just gonna beat it out of you. One of the two. Yeah. But, but also, mm-hmm. what you said about t- Tariq. And he eventually <laughs> breaks down and he tries to confess that. Well, he does confess, but he does it in kind of a you know a slow motion. A, a, uh, way, but he kind of he starts to confess that you know maybe I'm not your father, and yeah. he he begins to um, to have empathy for uh, for Tick because it's, so through every episode Tick has a lot of questions like yeah. why did you used to beat me so bad and what right. are you hiding and why do you drink so much and you know uh, does mom know that you had a lover and all this other stuff and so he eventually finds the the um, the uh, willpower to tell him to come clean, yeah. in a way, yeah, 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 and 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 I and I think it was very eye opening for I mean because like uh, we were talking about the scene where um, I forget his uh, the boy who he was trying to say his name, but Tick thought he was trying to go save George or or uh, whoever, and he's like, it's mom. He's trying to save his mom. He's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, it ain't about your mama. This is about him. And then like Tick sees his. his you know, quote unquote, father breaking down, cr- about to cry, saying, "This is where it happens. This, th- yeah. th- this mm-hmm. is where the first person who I may have loved, I, I watched him die. The first person who knew who I was, mm-hmm. I watched him die." Right. right. And he had never told that story to anybody else. No. No. Right. But I, he had I, never told that part trying, of the story. I do have. He's a question, trying though. to like rewrite that trauma in one episode yeah. because he he he. Um, this is the thing that you know. 
there was an episode where Montrose actually goes to, is it like a gay club or something? Like a drag club? or well, they have like a, uh, a review. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A review. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, uh, there are times when Montrose actually lets his hair down and he's able to be who he is. Oh, but right. then even in the club, like he freezes, like what the hell am I doing here? Right, yeah. In the club, he freezes. Yeah, like he catches himself. Yeah, when they when they having breakfast and, the, and, and old boy lose to like this woman may have saw me. He fucking mm-hmm. like absolutely, oh. and and so again he turns to the heavy-handed Montrose like, yep. why did you cook this like this? You know I don't like this, and so he right. he kind of deflects in a way that you know that gets the guy away from him. So now he feels like you know comfortable again in his own skin. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do got a question though. Like I get this, I get this to it's a story, but I would I would think that if my 22 year old son came and saved me when I was 15. I would remember that this nigga came and saved me when I was 50. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if Amaya Winston came and was swinging a bat. Well, maybe that's because of how everything, how yeah, everything I know. was going I know. on and he was traumatized right. and, and, and in oh, shock yeah. with seeing the old boy get exactly. killed. Exactly. Oh, and yeah, being, I get and His life being in danger also, you know what I'm saying? You don't really absorb and process everything that you, you know somebody came and saved you, but that don't mean that you really. Right. Got a good look at that person that really, you know, and even it's like a older. sense of deja vu. Like I've been here before, but I can't remember who I was here right. with. Oh yeah, right. right. Yeah. I, that, that was that was just me on the vape pen. Like, wait a minute, nigga. <laughs> 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 if a my if a my Hakeem Winston came to save me at my black ass when I was fifteen, I, I'm just that was that was just me though. But no, but like but like when they started kind of like and it kind of hits you when they start like uh-huh. and then he was swinging that bat. And that and look at that bat. I said, "Oh my God, these niggas have been affecting the fucking past all along." Yeah, all along, yeah. <laughs> love it, love this. Well, show. did we also notice that the the um, I can't remember what episode this was, but the Lovecraft uh, book that Tick had. Oh yeah, yeah. It had George's name. Oh, uh, the John Carter yeah. book. It was written by George. Yeah, Freeman. then it. That's the right, I am episode, right? That then it connects that Letty's having a son, and then he tells Montrose, I think, was it that his son wrote the book? Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 That's yep. my son. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, book, it was a book that told him that Letty was pregnant, but Letty hadn't told him he was pregnant yet. Right. Yeah. Right. But let me tell you something, man. That woman was not like a G. Uh, uh, grandma who just was grandma. on fire. Oh, yeah. When she Good. gave up the book, when she, she gave up the book, yes. and it just burned and screamed. But it just burned yeah. to death. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I touched the stove the other day cooking some motherfucking, <laughs> trying to cook some motherfucking, <laughs> some fried calamari in the oven. Nigga, I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, hey, you know what it remind me of? She remind me of uh, that uh, that Buddhist monk. That oh, set itself on oh, fire yeah, in yeah, uh, yeah, Vietnam yeah, protesting oh, the Vietnam War. Okay, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. And he just sat yeah. there. He just sat there, sat man. There. Sat there you know what and saying? set himself on fire, dog. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. That's been what that reminds me of. The commitment. <laughs> The commitment. The, the commitment, right? Exactly. Bruh. Let me exactly. tell you something. I'm committed to life. I ain't never been that committed to nothing. But in my you, life. Put, you put if that fire on. My arm would have been I'm screaming. on fire. In the I just, water, I just told y'all I had, I had a chemical burn in the beginning and of the show Richard and I Pryor, cried. Like mentioned the same thing. Oh, he set himself on fire. That yeah. is it's on yeah. fire. He, 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 <laughs> but didn't he mention that like about the, about the monk who had done it? And so he yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. like the same he said, thing. He said he changed his mind real quick when that flame hit his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember he did his stand up. He said, "This motherfucker catch on fire. I'm gonna, eat, I will eat through your asshole to get out of this building. Don't you worry. Don't you worry." <laughs> 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 he said, I learned my lesson. Fire is hot. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but uh, so we're here. We're, we're still on. Yeah. So rewind 1921. So anything else to add to that? I mean, a beautiful episode. I mean, brutal episode, but beautiful episode. It was brutal. Yeah. yeah, it's brutal. Yeah. Man. But it's necessary. Uh, so back to like the music, uh-huh. but the, uh, not necessarily the music, but the voiceovers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So like, Episode one, you had uh, James Baldwin. James Baldwin, Correct. Episode yeah. two, mm-hmm. episode two, you had Gil Scott Heron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. on the moon. I'm like, they they went there. Oh, I know this is black people. Yeah. 
And then I forgot what I forgot which which part of episode three they had uh one, it was either episode three or episode four they had dialogue from Pose. Uh when uh transformation. I think that might have been four. I think it might have been four. No. That's the one I I was all thrown off on. I think four no, no, was no, the one three, that was just three, like three, three is the one where uh, old girl gets the the, the 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 power to transform, right? No, three is the uh, Hana, is the ghost in the house. So okay. Like, yeah, so it must be four then. You're right. You're right. It's four. Yeah. So three, three, there weren't no voiceovers. Oh, there weren't any voiceovers in three. Mm-mm. Three was like what I like about episode three was like they used gospel music in a, uh, in the context of a on a haunted house in the exorcism. Yeah, because that's that's the one. Oh, that's yeah, the yeah, one yeah, old yeah. girl sitting in the church. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Because if it because anybody's gonna get rid of some evil spirits, it's gonna be Reverend Doctor Shirley Caesar. <laughs> oh wait a minute! I I think I think uh, I don't know. It might have been five then, because five is strange case. That's when Ruby wakes up as the white woman. So you talking That's about the, the, woman, the right. transformation over? No, the no. That was it, it was episode four that they had the dialogue for Capone. Okay, okay. But then they brought Sun Ra in uh, was it episode six. Yeah, talking about yeah. reality. And I was shit. like, where is that Space from? In the yeah, space is the place. I'm like, wow, they really went deep. I mean, yeah, the yeah, show was deep, and and then I don't space know. is the place, and then the Sonya Sanchez in uh Rewind 1921. Mm-hmm. Like Sonya Sanchez was talking about getting inspiration to move the Black Arts Movement forward, but yet they in this episode they're talking about where is your fire? All while Tulsa Tulsa is burning. Yeah, love it. I love the show. So it's just. It's just taking the context and changing it in a different way to where you see a little bit more to it <clears throat> or adapt it to another circumstance to get you through it. Mm-hmm. Deep. I agree with you, Gabe. Finger, finger snap and all that things. All right. So that takes us to episode 10, which is the final Full episode circle. of the season. Full circle. And I, I will I will I will say at first this was my I will say at first before I had knowledge that there might be a season two that was my least favorite episode, but upon mm. hearing there might be a season Same. two, I understand I understand why they did what they did. Right. Yeah. So there might be a season two. Well, they already there is a there should be a, they, they haven't yeah, decided ahead. yet. Yeah. There's talks okay. of it. But I think the COVID thing is what's going to be. If it, were, if it wasn't for COVID, there would be a season two for sure. That's why. That's why. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. I mean, but at the same time, real quick, I, I, you know, if there is a season two, man, I want them to take their time and do it and do it right how oh, they did sure. the first because it's so, it's so uh, complex and layered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit just can't be uh, uh, factory. You know, on assembly line type of type of production, man. You know, right? right. So, yeah. hey, take as much time. They 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 can take as much time as they need. Kind of like an Outcast album, right. like when Outcast yeah. used to come out with their albums every every other year, or every every, every three years or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it was worth the wait. For you sure. Know, so I hope they do that. I agree with you. But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, they're gonna take their time, like uh, like uh, like Atlanta has <laughs> the series. Yeah, uh, yeah that was a yeah. Good I, ain't, I ain't watched that. Show. I don't even think that's coming oh, back. It's a great series. You should watch it, Zay. I think you would like it. It's yeah, it's, I see it's, like it's, it's, it's part hella of the episode, funny. but I just ain't got to it yet. So God. it's hella funny. So episode ten, like, we find ourselves uh, basically it's, it's kind of bringing everything together, and this the introduction of going to the ancestral plane for that. I kind of like that. Yeah, the ancestral plane, yeah. and you got mm-hmm. you got. Oh, that was a good word. Yeah, you got Letitia. Uh, Aletti, she's having to work out her issues, and then Tick got to work out his issues. So they can all save everyone, as we find out. Tick, Tick's mom tells him, "Oh, you're gonna save everyone," but yes, she, right. kind of, she kind of said, "But not yourself, nigga." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure. About mom that. Well, I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure about that, people. I know we're not sure about it, but up, up I have my the, theories. Yeah, we have theories. Okay, theories, but until now, this nigga got this nigga then got these two big ass crocodile Dundee cuts on his goddamn arm. So yeah. that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it is magic. it is a magical show. So of course, right, it's right, a magical exactly. show. It's a magical oh, okay, can, can I can I jump in with it? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yes, jump in. So okay. Uh, Christina has at the end of the episode 
tick tied up to some apparatus for his ritual sacrifice. Correct. Right. And so the process of, of the sacrifice is going to take the blood that he contains from um, Titus Braithwaite right. and mm-hmm. use it to complete her spell, which would make her immortal. Okay? Right. Mm-hmm. And so as, um, as she has got him tied down and she's pulling him up, you know, to, to set him up right, she mm-hmm. says, hey. Um, hijacking my spell because that's what they were doing in this episode. They they had plans to they they had they had gone back. They had gotten Titus Braithwaite. They had recalled him and dug a piece out of his chest. Right. Hey, dog. And they were supposed to get a vial of Christina's blood so they could have Atticus. Uh, the, the, you know the, what I'm saying? The, the, the three of those people yeah. all together. Yep. He would consume them. Yeah. And then he would be able to complete a, a hijacking of her. Spell. Correct. And so she admits, hey, that's a great idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn, I'm and so, and so when she does that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, she says that that's a great idea. Too bad you put you brought Ruby into it. You know what I'm saying? That's where you uh-huh. fucked up, you know what I'm saying? So uh in doing so, you know, they had not had um he didn't have all the components for the spell because he didn't have Christina's uh DNA. Christina's real blood, right. But what happened is Jaya stepped in. So right. so Hippolyta says to Jaya Connection. That the, the 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 incantation that Letty is saying will not work because they're not connected. Mm-hmm. So right. Jaya steps into this little tornado cloud that's going up to the moon, mm-hmm. and, and basically sticks her tent or her, her, her tails out, and and, and connects everybody. Mm-hmm. And so what I'm saying to you is, before that, uh, Christina had got stabbed through by Letty, mm-hmm. and right. so and so Christina said, "Sorry, you're too late. I'm already immortal." Mm-hmm. But after after Jaya steps in, connects the two of them, and and Letty still saying the incantation, D is able to come up at the end. By the way, she has a robot arm. And she's able to she's able to crush Christina. If Christina's immortal, how is it that that D is able to crush her and kill her? She must not be immortal anywhere. They must have been successful in hijacking the uh, yeah. the, the 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 spell. Somebody else is immortal. I, I agree. Mm, I see what you're saying. Okay. I agree. Hey, but that made me think. Oh. About, that made me think about something we didn't. T- I mean, I hate to jump back though, but the Jigabobo uh, episode, we didn't mm-hmm. touch on uh, Christina. You think of Christina and being immortal, uh, wanting to take part and die like get uh, that Emmett experience. Yeah. Die, oh, to experience like um, yeah. Emmett Till. Emmett Till. Yeah. 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 Cause like Ruby asked her, Ruby explained to her how he was died, and she basically did the white woman thing. Like, I don't give a fuck about that nigga. But then we right. find, <laughs> then we find out the next, well, a couple scenes later, she, uh, she gets some good old boys to tie her up and with some barbed wire and throw her in the motherfucking river. Right. Anyway, but back to that. Yeah. Go ahead, Gabe. So mm-hmm. my understanding is, at that time, Christina had the protection spell, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. she could, she wasn't immortal. She just could not be harmed or, or killed. Oh, no, when? No. At what? At what point are we talking about? Episode Episode Eight. Oh no no I, no, no, she, no no she took she took she took the spell off. Mm-hmm. No no she took the spell off. Letty. No she took but the it, spell off herself. She whispers right before they start beating her ass. Yeah. I they took because remember, shit. The car couldn't even hit them in, in episode one because she had the spell on it. The car didn't even hit the car and it flipped over. You remember? I am sure. Right, right, right. You can't <laughs> hit her if she got that spell on. I am you sure saw the bullets. Just... You saw the bullets on Letty. You saw the bullets didn't even touch Letty. I am. No, no. Them people could not have hit the, I her. Wasn't, I wasn't if she had the spell on. She took the spell off. Fellas, fellas. She transferred the spell from her. I wasn't. She put the spell. She put a similar spell on Letty. Right, right. So I, I wasn't trying. She to, did not have it. Otherwise, they could not touch her. Fellas, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to connect the two. I was just saying we forgot to talk about it. But I do agree yeah. with Joe. She did take it off for that quick second, and then probably when she was underwater, she probably did a mama say mama mama sa shit, <laughs> right. and put she it put, it back, yeah. put it back on her and came back. Put it back on. Just get to bring her back to life. Go back and watch, homie. Go back and watch, homie. Because, because I, 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 I agree with Joe. Like, 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 like the car, the silver car, and her. Like, you, you couldn't touch it. Like, yeah, or when right. Tick tried to kill her. Yeah, you could not right. squeeze the trigger. You couldn't. You couldn't. Because remember, the cops tried to do the same shit, but they just couldn't do it. But 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 them white but but them but them white boys was fucking her up. 
And she was bleeding yeah. for real, for real. And then they, right. threw, they threw her in the water, and I think she probably put, the, she probably, you know, did her she little. She put that spell shit. back on to bring her back to life. But yeah. I think for that brief I mean, moment, bring her back. I think for that brief moment, she wanted to. I don't know. Maybe she fucked with Ruby for real, for real. I don't know, but she wanted to yeah. understand the feel what Emma Tell felt. I don't understand why that was, but. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, I, I just said we didn't we didn't, we didn't we didn't discuss it. Didn't touch on her. Yeah, so it it, it kind of made me think about it when Joe brought that up. But I wasn't trying to connect it to. My bad. That was poor. Mm-hmm. So so poor my my, my theory <laughs> is that uh, because Christina got touched up by D, mm-hmm. she does not have the the uh, spell, even though she had it for a second. She doesn't have right. it, and I think somebody it does. Somebody does, and I think it's either Jaya. Or it's uh it's tick. It's tick, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. That no, makes sense, sure though. I'm st- I'm I'm still mad that nobody like hit on the fact that he doing was doing this this episode though. It's just mama say mama sama makusa. 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 Mama say mama sama. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so so does so now so now the other question is is. Did, because Jaya had to intervene with uh, Tick and Christina, does that count as her hundredth man? Man. Mm. Oh. Damn. Season two got to come out. There's so many questions. Yep. Yeah, there's so many damn questions. What happens? Yeah. What actually happens to Tick? Now, all I know yeah. is D got that hand, and I was like, I need somebody to explain. <laughs> All right, all right. So, because, so because if because if a girl can be like beat up like that and then come back and they actually have the book now, uh-huh. yeah, and, and now no white person can do magic because uh, Letty possesses the book. Letty how possess, can she yeah. not bring back a tick with Correct. just magic, even though he's been cut? They know magic still. Correct. I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of questions. I mean, that like I, like I said, yeah, exactly. more questions than answers. Because like, yeah. I think that's why I said initially that was like my least favorite episode. Because I was like, they really gonna leave it like this? But then, yeah, we, yeah I didn't like it. Either. So blank. But it would, my bad. When they said there's talk of a season two, I was like, that makes sense. I'm okay with this, dude. Yeah. All right. Let me ask this question. Let me ask this question. Yeah. Have we talked? So I stepped out for a second. Did we talk about D's arm? No, nah, we just got to this episode. Just mentioned it. All right. yeah. So I'm 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 bouncing back to uh, episode eight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, a meme came out, and I just went and double checked this shit. <laughs> that's just that's just factual. So when when the portal opened up, mm-hmm. and Hippolyta went into the past or wherever she went to the space and all that type of stuff. There's no time. Yeah. We know that we know that Atticus also went in. She and he went to the future. Correct. Right. And so when he went into the future, he was given the book that his That's son true. wrote, George Freeman, right? Right. That's and what, what he says is that... What, what, hey, go ahead. <laughs> Gator, we can't really hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you distract me with that, man. So uh, what, 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 uh, what George says what is... Saying? You distract me with that. Shit. <laughs> what you, no, I can't. Like, your, your sound's like going in and out. What are you saying? Yeah, your sound is weird. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So anyway, oh, anyway. So what he's saying is that he got pushed out, and so the uh, the woman who who pushed him out had an afro and a hoodie, uh-huh. and so we figured it was probably the woman that that uh, that Hippolyta came in contact with, and it may very well be. But I uh, he, there is also yeah, another afro. detail that the woman who pushed him out the future had a robot hand. Right. Oh. Yes. Yes. Joe. Yes. Right, yeah, yeah. Cause like, because when D had when D's hair grew back, I was like, damn, she looked just like that motherfucking woman that right. uh, Hippolyta yeah. was fucking with. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now we're thinking that the woman that that told Hippolyta to name herself might have been D. Was D? Yeah. yeah, all along. I wondered uh. that. I wondered that. But I'm I'm read. I'm gonna keep reading the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it's 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 some callbacks in there, man. Some some wild stuff going on. Uh, yeah, cause my my uh, my daughter and uh, her mom talking about they're gonna watch it when uh, my daughter gets back from Atlanta, and I'm like, uh, just please pay attention. Don't put your phone down. <laughs> don't yeah. be fucking. You don't got be playing, to pay don't be yeah, candy. You gotta watch it. You gotta don't be watch playing it Candy real. Crush. Don't be doing nothing else. Have all your dinners yeah. and the dishes washed. <laughs> you gotta watch this shit, cause there's a lot of things you gotta call back, and it makes you go, yeah. oh, now it makes sense. And it might be yeah. four or five episodes. From the last time you saw that shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Hey, hey, Gary, it's like your it's like your sounds coming through like on a like your channel is fucked up or something. Like it sounds real clock, hollow. Clock radio speakers. Yeah, sound distorted. Yeah. You but you know, you know what I, I was. I mean, I can hear you, but it sounds by, it sounds hollow. What I was most impressed by on on the show, and uh, Joe had had mentioned it uh, when we talked about it a, a few weeks ago or whatever, was um was uh, Letty's form, man. Every time she run. That form is impeccable, man. Hey, hey. That shit is, hey. I swear, man. It's hey. clean. It's clean. It's hey. clean, man. I mean, you know, uh, you trainer, man? What's happening? I mean, you, one of your two? you never know, man. You never know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, uh, so hopefully, yeah, there's a season two. Uh, episode 10 left in a lot of questions, as we say here, to be to be answered. Uh, yeah. Can I say I'm not sad that Ruby's dead? Uh, no. no, no, no. <laughs> yes, you can. I mean, but she, sac- she sacrificed for the family, didn't she? Not really. Not on purpose. <laughs> no. She wasn't uh-huh. planning to. What'd you say? I'm sorry, I can hear you, Gay. What'd you say? She wasn't planning to. Oh, she wasn't planning to. Right, exactly. She I ain't gonna, no, to. I'm with Joe. I was just asking. I'm like, yeah, she, 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 she bought into that... Uh, that ten percent mentality for show for show. Like I'm better than the rest yeah, of niggas yeah. and his white woman exactly. loves me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's she like but, it hey, she yada yada the fuck out of when tick when I mean, uh uh Letitia was like, but she wanna kill Tick. Yeah, but yada 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 nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's your baby daddy and all, but yada yada yada. Yada yada the fuck out of that. Yeah, you right. Right, bitch, what? Yeah. Then, then she ends up being the Trojan horse. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, right. Yep. And I'm sad because yeah. I, I, I want to see more Ruby, like r- literally. But anyway, that's the. <laughs> 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 that is a beautiful brown woman. But what? 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 Yes. What? I didn't say I'm gonna do it on the Zoom call, nigga. I just want to see. Her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it on my personal time. <laughs> right. He want he he want he want to experience that character arc a little bit. That more. character arc. Now I don't want yeah, you yeah, yeah. transform <laughs> into no white woman in front of me bleeding everywhere. I don't want that. But yeah, yeah. Just, I want you just to stay you. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stay Ruby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruby, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sad about Ruby. So that that that's that's what it is. What it is. Uh, yeah, I, I do hope because I do hope I do hope we write and tick. Is okay, and he come back, and he spent like two two episodes in some kind of weird ancestral uh-huh. wizard plane or some shit, and he comes back. But there's there's a season two, but I don't want there to be no season two without Tick. Cause I need them. I need them. What the fuck faces that he make every episode? <laughs> I, need them. I need them in my life. <laughs> so. What you say? I got a, I got a mean word. I'm saying that ain't the strange part. That's strange. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he be making uh, he get to blowing them cheeks out. And <laughs> yeah, man. He, he got like, a strong acting face. I'm sure. like, damn, nigga, you, she just told you she's pregnant, bro. You good? Don't don't. <laughs> why you making that face, nigga? You, you just literally fought a hellhound, but you making that face because you're she's pregnant. Okay. This, 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 <laughs> oh damn! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody said he got nose on KRS, KRS money. He's like, yeah, might as well be KRS too. Now, now what? what uh, now was that? But wait, we, we we didn't. Like I said, we missed a couple of steps. When did uh, Letty get the uh, protection spell? Was that at the church? Yeah, no, 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 not at the church. Remember, she got taken off. But when she was fighting uh, Christina in that tower, remember Christina told Ruby she wouldn't harm Letty. So while they was fighting, no, I mean, apparently I'm, I'm, I'm saying originally, originally, which episode was that? Was she got uh, removed or where she got it? When she first got it was uh, episode, episode eight. 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 At the church. Yeah, yeah at the church. Eight. When they got it removed the when uh, she came to get the book and he refused to give her the book. She walked past her and took it off her. Yeah, so right. episode eight. That's nine. Yeah, I think yeah, it was so we kind of, So we skipped around a little yeah. bit. We also, like, missed out on... Uh, we didn't realize that Tick had a fucking hellhound protecting him and all that yes. shit. Like we didn't realize exactly. that was Kill a spell it. of protection. <laughs> it was a, a fucking hellhound emerges from yeah. the goddamn earth. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, y'all yeah, didn't talk about the uh, him just they just wrecking the uh, police force. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I was hell here. Y'all didn't talk about that, man. Well, I said we kind of so, bounced around. That's why you know how we do. But like, yeah, I was yeah. like, they didn't call National Guard. They didn't say these niggers got a, a black nigger dog. Yeah, okay. He's killing all these. Nah, it was, it was a, there was a gas man explosion. What you say? <laughs> It was a gas man explosion. Yes, lead explosion. Gas man. That's that's what that's, that's, that so, was the excuse they used. So in in episode ten, when they when they get in a uh, Lord Craft Indiana Jones on before they go to the tombs, is that the Hellhound in the basement? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. The, red, the red light coming from the basement. Yeah, sure. I, yeah, that was. I, the hell I, I was just making sure. I said these niggas got they getting their lower craft on, but then they got to go down there and pet the fucking the fucking the Fuck pet, that. got pet king. <laughs> Somebody said hey, they, so, they, they need to have a side show where it's D and, and they they didn't name the fucking hellhound uh, D and King in the future. Some shit like that. <laughs> So so I went back today and I was looking at Jaya's visions because you know Jaya when she when she gets her uh, tales and somebody she can see Correct. their life right. their lifespan and right. so I went back and I was checking out and so apparently Ticket already introduced the Hellhound to D and D to the Hellhound they were they were yes. uh, they were bonding yes previous to this whole situation. But and but, so, but I think that was my issue with it. Like they did, like in those, and I I think sometimes to me I hate when shows do those flashbacks to explain story arcs. To me, that's what annoyed me. They did they they, they did the yada 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 with the flashbacks with uh Jai, what's her name Jai Ying, whatever the fuck yeah Jai I believe Jai yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Gia. Gia, Gia Jai yeah. so that I think that's what annoyed me. It made me kind of like eh okay these niggas explained it with these flashbacks. I get it, <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. He had, he had him. And so, and so we flash back and see her catch Ruby in the act. Yep. It flash back and see uh, Tick giving the letter to uh, Hippolyta Correct. for Montross. Yeah, yep. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then like, him, him, he got his hand out and he's, I guess, passing on whatever for uh, D. to now she got King and they can go out and bite people and shit. I don't know. But. As well as the baptism and all that type of stuff. Yeah, too, yeah, so. yeah. So what is the significance of the baptism? Got you got a uh, protection from all high. Yeah. Okay. I'll just I'll just ask. Mm-hmm. I, I, that's what I assume, but I didn't know if there was more to it. That's what I assume. Well, she did mention that you know only uh, God could protect us. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. She did mention that. Yep. So uh, yeah, maybe just trying to see if anything else we missed because like something's coming back to me. This uh Japanese uh, whiskey is uh clouding my vision. You sipping on the sun, Tori? Yes, sir. Yes, hold on. It, ha, 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 ha. I don't know why I got races all of a sudden. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I turned to Donald Trump all of a sudden. My bad. Oh. My bad. Wow. Wow. Damn, we almost made it through an episode without talking about him. I know. Almost. No, actually, well, I played that video of him, but I didn't really mean it. We did, we did, we did. You're right. You sure right. I, but I ain't, we didn't say shit. But it was only because <laughs> healthcare, whatever. But um, yeah. So I mean, it, it might you want to add things you're looking forward to, story arcs that you hope are uh, completed uh, as far as season two, if there is a season two. Questions that need to be answered. I'm going. Back. I'm wondering how. I'm wondering how they're gonna do season two. Cause somebody yeah. put it out there that they might try to do it like American Horror Stories. No. They just go to a whole totally different time. Oh no. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like a different cast. With different like a whole new, new set of characters. Yeah, a whole yeah. new set of characters. I seen True Detective. I wouldn't it mind that. It don't work very well. Yeah, like True Detective. Yeah, <laughs> but that second. Well, season, True Detective that's, didn't work. That second season, True Detective was trash. Yeah. What was the second season? Who was in that one? That was um. Damn it. Vince Vaughn, wasn't it? Huh? No, there was two. Wasn't it Vince Vaughn? It was a uh, Vince Vaughn. What's old boy dead shot? Uh, oh, um, Colin. Colin. Um, uh, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell was in that motherfucker. Yeah, uh, yeah, Vince. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And, uh, it was. It, it was that thing where I don't know if they just ran out of money, but they definitely tried to do uh, three episodes of work in one episode, and that shit was trash. <laughs> that first that first season was mm, I got I'm I just, I just I was going to work talking about I gotta go make these flowers. <laughs> 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 gotta make the flowers. What'd you think about season three? <sighs> it was better. It, it, but it was better than season two, 
But it was, I don't know. I think, I think, when you, I think they kept trying to go for this shock factor. And then, like, I'm not a big mm-hmm. fan of the thing where you try to do this flashback to explain everything, which they try to definitely do in that third season. Yeah. And it annoyed me. So that, to me, that's the okay. thing that annoys me. We try to do when you, instead of telling a fucking story, you got fucking ten episodes. Tell the story, my nigga. But the tenth yeah. episode, I'm gonna do a flashback to explain everything. I'm like, that's lazy to me. And, and once again, that's why I said this last episode, even though I liked it, was my least favorite. Yeah. <laughs> that's me though. That's my. Those are my pet peeves when it comes to filmmaking, or whatever. Anyway, anyone else? Uh, what you want to see? Closing thoughts. He's gonna vote. I'm good. Yeah, no, man, just, go as, vote. as long as it's a, as long as it's near, you know, I, it ain't even got to be as good as the first season because that's gonna be hard to hard to top or, sure. or hard to meet it to match. You know, sure. know what I'm saying? But if it's on the same level, somewhere in that same, you know, around that same level, man, then however they do it, uh, I'm sure it'll be worth worth my time. Oh yeah. So, as no. long as, as long as it's as thoughtful as the first season was, I don't know if it's gonna be as good. Cause I think people are gonna be ready for it and wanting and right. it. But as long as it's thoughtful and makes you have to, you know, think a little bit, I think I, I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I, I think right, I'm exactly. It for the most part. All right, then we have discussed things. Um, as uh, yeah. Joe would say, uh, points have been made. I don't know if they've been good ones, but they have been made. Break bread with your brothers whenever possible.